Kirby Mennonite, the rivalry. Fun fact, I played Ostrich Gulu in my very first tournament, Hyper Fighting 2, in the same matchup. Got mostly bodied. Didn't get 8 stock though, so, you know, little things. All right, Smashville is the start. Starter. So, Ostrich Glue is bound. He's going to know this matchup really well. Um, you know, Eamon plays it. Chexer, Chexer plays Meta Knight. Karma has used Meta Knight in the past. Um, you know, in our previous PR, we had four Meta Knights on it. Uh, Ostrich Glue know, is going to know this matchup. Let's see what Light Speed can do to bring his own take to it. Okay, I like that mix-up to get back to the stage. Unfortunately, um, Ostrich is really good at punishing aerials out of shield. Um, he just He's really good at catching you doing it um, and punishing with moves that hit odd angles like the down smash. But okay, I course, like that Of course, up. canonically, Kirby should lose this. Of course. But that's fine. This is fine. Hey, everybody, this is Josh. I forget to just hop on while we wait for Sam to finish up his matches. So something I'm noticing a lot in this matchup so far, obviously I'm not exactly a PM veteran, um, but these both these characters, at least in Brawl and in other games, were really great aerial fighters. Meta Knight seems to have the slight edge in terms of being in the air in this mm -hmm. game, despite Kirby's sort of sideways recovery. Yeah, Meta Knight's sword make him, makes him one of the more dangerous characters with multiple jumps in the game for sure. All right, we got Sam right here. Here we go. Awesome. Oh, I like that forward tilt just to reset the edge guard. All right. I also just got beaten by a Kirby. In which game? Uh, that was in melee, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, triple R. That'll yep. do it. Uh, light speed? Oh, the call out is... Keeping it a little bit closer than I would have expected right now, but I think yeah. it's... Glue usually takes the first game of any set, and you feel okay. You feel like, okay, I, he, he might have won, but I held it close, and then yeah. by the end, you're like, well... I guess he knows me. Right. So. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this isn't necessarily a matchup too, where you're necessarily going to have like a huge, like one character jump out to a huge lead. You no. know, a lot of chip hits and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and neither of them have amazing combos on the other ones. Right. Right. But obviously, in, as far as experience goes, you know, checks or uh, Ostrich Glue is going to know this matchup mm -hmm. much better, considering the oh, last yeah. PR had four Meta Knights on it. Yep. Unless Lightspeed has done this before, I know his Meta Knight is new. Yeah. He has played this one Kirby. This one Kirby has played many Meta Knights. Right. Oh man, he's been he's been using that uh, down B really effectively lately. Yeah, it's not something you see him use all that often, so it's interesting to see him going for it now. That I was like a great tech. tech. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Right. Lightspeed's dash dancing a little bit more than his previous set. Oh, that's it, though. Okay. He keeps going for the side B recovery and keeps getting punished. He's not for mixing it. it up at all. He's not okay. really that mixing was the it last, up. That was. I came in halfway through that game, so yep. I wasn't sure. It was the same thing in the previous set, and he's feeling a little frustrated. You can oh, tell. Yeah, he's he's trying to learn a new character. Yeah. The the only issue is that I know he's trying to learn a new character because he's not having a ton of fun with his other ones. That's fair. Comparatively, but I feel I think he chose Meta Knight because. The common theory is that Meta Knight's really good in Minnesota. Right. He's actually not great on the national level. He's good. Don't get me wrong, but you're not seeing the nearly the same amount of top-level Meta Knights nationally. Yeah, I feel like he's definitely one of those underrepresented, underrepresented high tiers. But mm -hmm. but he's not the best in the game like a lot of Minnesotans think he is. And yeah. so I'm wondering if this if this Meta Knight dilemma that Lightspeed is having stems from that. Mm -hmm. This is the scene he experiences, so he thinks that Meta Knight's really, really good and going to be able to get him some of those wins. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough to say. You know, you don't want to you don't want to make any assumptions for everyone, but I know he's played recently. He's played um, a lot of characters. When I first though. met him, he used Shielda. He was giving me some Marth earlier in Friendlies. Mm -hmm. um, someone told me he used Fox at the Arcadian. And he still plays all of those. Yeah. He's a man of many shirts. He's a man of many characters. Right, which can be a good or bad thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, Ostrich Glue was saying, you know, when you're learning the game or when you're getting comfortable with, like, playing, like, people, probably better to focus on one, but, you know, that doesn't work for yeah. everyone. 
And so the, the question here is now, where do we think Lightspeed is on right. that? Um, is Lightspeed the kind of guy who should start extrapolating, trying to try out more characters, trying to try out more venues? Yeah. I honestly think it's more of the soul searching type thing. Not mm. that he's trying to cover matchups, but he's just trying to figure out where he lands right now in the Project M spectrum. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't get the good hitbox no. there. But he's going to take it with that, it. though. Yep. It's still very close. It's mm. within a stock. Um, this is about where I walked in in the last game, too. Yep. Different stage, same he said scenario. Another side B recovery, though. That one, uh, he didn't go to the ledge, though. Yeah, he's had actually, he had a fair has had a fair amount on stage. I just I think he needs to evenly got away with that one. Like, has he used dimensional cape at all? Not to recover. Has he used it? I haven't even seen it at all. He used it in neutral a couple times versus Amanzi. Nothing this set uh, as far as I've seen. But as we say that, you know, now even stocks gets the good hitbox on the up E that time. And being being a lot more patient gets the grab, building up some damage. Mm -hmm. That side B to the middle of the stage. I see what he's going for, but see, he just keeps the same rinse and repeat recovery. And, and then whoa. doesn't go for the up B until it's almost too late. Yeah, I, Glue didn't get punished for it, but there's something really odd about seeing him drop right. all the way down. He's been doing that with his rock a little bit recently, and I just, it's not a decision I agree with. Right. I don't see any bonuses that he doesn't get from just refreshing ledge and covering some more options closer right. to the stage. So Lightspeed's uh, getting a much better feel for the neutral game here, mm -hmm. making it a lot closer. Oh, no. I wonder if that was a tech flow, man. I, I think it was, as we said that. I mean, side B can grab the ledge, but that doesn't really seem like he, what he'd be going for in that situation. No, definitely not. 